Pisces, what does God want you to know? Ooh. Mm. Seven of Swords, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy. Six of Cups in reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I'm getting the vibe that... You might be used to some sort of pattern of sabotage, like not really getting your way. It's this sort of, and it could have to do with like your family, like how you were raised. It could have to do with like your childhood, but I am not getting the vibe that you're not going to get what you want because you are being clever in this moment, okay? And... I think that if you're not spending too much time in one place, that's a good idea. It might be time for you to relocate. But either way, it's something to do with like releasing some sort of childhood trauma of like shit just not going your way. <laughs> Especially when it has to do with romance. Some of you, it's it's really good. For, for, for whoever is watching this, it is good for you at this time to be in your James Bond energy. It's going to lead you to this Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We also have Aries, Leo, Sag. So this frequency is actually really sexy. It's like you can do whatever you want, be be whoever you want, go wherever you want. This could also be a job opportunity that you will have to travel. For whatever reason, I'm picking up the vibe that you think that something, some sort of time or some experience has been lost or you haven't done this by this time or that time. Those are all self-sabotaging ways of thinking. Those are outdated thoughts and processes. And it's all trickery. It's all air. It's all smoke. It's not real with the Seven of Swords. Also, there could be some insecurities when it comes to new connections or relationships. Also, really... What I want to say is, it's this, it's, I'm getting this like FOMO type of like fear of missing out. It's like, you're not going to miss out. That's for some of you. For others of you, it's mostly, this never goes my way. I can make money. I can do this. But when it comes to my love life, it just kind of sucks. But you're going to get an opportunity. You're going to get an opportunity to be in some, some, somewhere that you would never even expect. Just like this random encounter. And because this is a cycle, could have to do with the next moon cycle. Scorpio energy here. You're going to just be in the right place at the right time. Just make sure that your head is on straight. Because with this death card, if you... If you decide to not go somewhere, for example, your intuition is coming into play here. So it's like you really have to gain some sort of control over your thoughts. With the Seven of Swords, there's always some sort of deception involved. So with this Death card in reverse, you're getting the opportunity to, to change your thoughts. To redirect your, I guess, perceived thoughts and change them so you're going to get a some sort of second chance and you're just being guided to don't worry and also if you if you feel like you need to move then just move for some of you you are literally going to be moving some of you are going to be touring traveling that's coming up and i'm not like i can't say this that this it is what it is the clarity the fog just just please keep in mind that we have saturn direct in Pisces and it's going to be there until 2026 so you're going to be seeing a lot of things that you need to clear out of your life 
you're, you're literally gonna be like, okay, that's holding me back. That's keeping me from moving forward. Mm, it's gonna be like some sort of 180 because what you really want is harmonious relationships. You don't want relationships where you just feel like you're, you're constantly pouring into their spirit and nothing is being reciprocated. You really want your seeds to be planted and grounded in reality and the seven of pentacles and also too you do have some sort of i would say really fast change from you know not really having enough to having a whole lot more to give and to share because you're going from this seven of pentacles to this knight of wands okay and it's like hmm but you need to act fast so move your ass that's what i'm trying to say okay <laughs> move your ass pisces all right <laughs> i'm like how can i say this huh? just just move it move it move it move it the knight of wands is literally the fastest moving knight he can speak multiple languages he you know he can go anywhere he's a chameleon he can fit in doesn't have to be masculine or feminine and for some of you like meeting the love of your life you're gonna meet them also by traveling getting out and experiencing new things right yes and i do see travel coming up for you i see this grand opportunity for you to change your whole life literally within a matter of seconds this can happen this is going to be receiving some sort of um flight information some sort of um hotel room so it's text messages information emails contracts being signed brand new contracts brand new opportunities and i mean they really do this is exciting energy and it's like going from really not having enough to absolutely having it all overnight yes i am talking to you pisces you're like why are you serious like are you selling me a dream that's not my swag i don't do that my cards don't lie i'm telling you what i'm seeing just be prepared and i don't think you're gonna have to do anything because i really do feel that saturn what is saturn trying to tell you let's just tap into this what is saturn going direct want pisces sun moon rising venus if you have venus and pisces let me know down in the comments i got venus and pisces i'm a taurus sun with venus and pisces let me know oh it's sure it's it's time you did it your home touchdown is literally what i'm hearing Everything that you have been pouring out, giving, being supportive, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy is significant here. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, right? Mm. There's a gift. There's a gift again. There's a gift again. There is a gift. There is a gift. There is a gift being given and it just keeps on giving to you. So whatever, you're going to have more than what you need, but this is actually something that's going to happen really fairly quickly. So I don't know if you guys have been trying to get approved for a home or approved for a loan or something like that. And especially if you've been giving a lot, I'm hearing that some of you who <laughs> actually like, I've been paying my tithes and offering. Okay. <laughs> then this is probably your reading. Okay. I'm just saying. Mm, yes and there is this divine masculine there's this divine masculine that you're, you're you're embodying at the moment if you are a feminine you are embodying this energy and you're attracting this energy to you if you are a feminine if you are a masculine watching this you are really becoming familiar with a different way of expressing how you handle your business your business is it's like it's being orchestrated and you know this is for everyone your business your brand your ideas they're they're like phenomenal and it's it's so different that whatever you're doing it just seems like it, there's going to be a major 
return on your investments. That's what I'm getting. So just keep being grounded and being fair and being forthright. Someone's going to notice your ideas. Someone's going to notice your business plan. And maybe this person already have, maybe you are already in this this energy if this is the case and your finances are fine your business is booming there is still always going to be some level of enlightenment so there's a higher level consciousness that you're experiencing whoever's watching this you're experiencing a higher level of consciousness being able to actually say that you have something or that you are something and manifesting it in reality okay i really love this energy and this could literally just be you getting outside okay <laughs> you're gonna finally do something people might feel like oh you know you're not doing anything let's see how are you being viewed really quick by others i know sometimes pisces can be a little bit self-conscious and even though like they're some of the most beautiful creatures i've ever seen to walk the face of the earth right Mmm. Okay. Yeah, for some of you, this could be like a really nasty divorce or just something that, you know, it really should have, it should have ended a long time ago. It's ending and good for you, okay? <laughs> because this judge legit looks annoyed. The judge is like, why am I dealing with this? Wow, I cannot make this up. Seven, seven, seven seven do you see this okay this is you're 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 in the right place at the right time you're gonna be in the right place at the right time and for some of you um you could be getting back the money that you're some alimony some money some back pay something something here that that you should have you should have already had or that was held up that's going to be coming to you the number 30 the number 11 could be significant aries energy coming through really strong aries energy taurus virgo capricorn aries leo sag with that knight of wands and that emperor card oh my goodness i wonder if some of you are dealing with whoever that previous sign was that i just did i think it was aries some of the cards are coming up and this it's kind of given like you know somebody could be kind of like keeping tabs on you and and feeling some sort of regret okay and they might not be wanting you to to know this but they do regret they they are sorry and i definitely feel like i'm done with this like they feel like they threw a lottery ticket away i'm just looking at this as not hiring despair and then we have sudden wealth over here okay and this is really this is legacy type of energy some sort of story this is this is actually heartbreaking i feel sorry for this person but you <sighs> you really just want to be with your soulmates oh okay someone could have had some um could have lost some money in this situation we have wealthy men in reverse someone could have lost some money in this situation and or maybe someone stole something from you yeah i'm getting that too if something was stolen from you you're getting back what was stolen from you this could even be your creativity again we do have this 13 the number 13 correlates to the death card the number 13 scorpionic energy but it's also a neurology about re transformation a change okay so they whatever this was it it affected your your finances but don't worry um if you're seeing 777 definitely let me know let me know let me know let's get some advice what do you need to know yeah you're gonna get your lifestyle back you're gonna get your swagger back okay <laughs> and this time around save your money that's what i'm getting we got privileged lady 
okay you're gonna get your swagger back for some of you finances that's that's just what's coming through sometimes that it is what it is okay if you feel like oh well i already have enough i don't really need anything else you're gonna find out why you are seeing some sort of signs and synchronicities and codes okay i'm getting so many downloads from this reading okay <laughs> like it's really really intense you're definitely going to be going on some sort of spiritual journey and the thing about the situation is you want to be you want to be behave you want to have a healthy balance of masculine and feminine energy 11 12 and 5 could be significant i'm seeing a mentor coming in as well maybe you're going to learn something about leveling leveling up your spirituality to attract and manifest sudden wealth okay but just be mature Act like a lady, be a gentleman, expect the best, expect success because that is truly what you deserve, my dear Pisces. I'll see you super soon in your next reading. If you like this, don't forget to press like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. It really helps me so much when you do that. Also, I want to pull some angel messages for you i'm feeling guided to there's something you want to know about timing we have in a few months okay so in a few months maybe you will be getting some sort of opportunity maybe you will be having some sort of experience that maybe you missed in the past maybe you missed out on something maybe you missed out on an experience or you missed out on a timeline and that opportunity is coming up again in a few months for Pisces. <sighs> Advice is coming through a friend. So if you've been hanging out with a friend and they've been giving you some books, some candles, some crushed red brick pepper. <laughs> crushed red brick powder um cayenne pepper somebody's giving you some cayenne pepper for a reason okay listen to that friend take that advice it is totally harmless okay totally harmless nothing you need to worry about okay it's all about this spiritual evolution the spiritual journey we're all going to the same place right a solution is on the way yeah so there's something that has been keeping you stuck i think that's what i have been saying but in a few months you know you're just gonna get this aha moment especially if this is a creative project okay lavender could be significant cherries could be significant i don't know what this fruit is but that's the wave that's the vibe pisces i'll see you soon in your next reading until then, namaste, peace and love.